Well, looks like something I've been wanting to see happen is finally fucking happening. That being Alex Jones, the lying scumbag, snake oil salesman, douchebag, cocksucker motherfucking asshole, lying conspiracy theory, douchebag, son of a bitch, pseudo-masculine asshole, scumfuck, is finally getting sued for something he should have been sued for years ago. After all these years, the Sandy Hook parents are suing Alex Jones for defamation. I should not be annoyed at the victims of the of Sandy Hook for not taking action sooner. Uh, I think there were a couple of reasons why. Why I address this, for one thing. Um, at the time, I bet, Alex Jones wasn't as well known as he was now. Alex Jones was not as talked about as he was around in 2012 through, I would say, 2014, I would say he was still a relative small internet, well, he obviously wasn't small, he was one of the big, and he is one of the big online news sources uh, for a lot of people, uh, mostly right-wing lunatics, and I know not everyone who is right-wing is a lunatic. I just find the people who mostly look for Alex Jones as a reliable news source as wackos. I have delved into the lunacy of Alex Jones, I believe, once on this channel because that's all I could really put up with. Because honestly, this guy just makes me want to punch my fucking computer screen every time I see him. I mean, just with his fucking ridiculous, over-the-top nature. And you know when I, I'm criticizing someone for being over the top as fuck then you know this motherfucker is crazy because I'm pretty fucking over the top with my rants um, if I do say so myself but um, I guess one of the reasons why I've been thinking about Alex Jones for the past few weeks maybe a month to be honest is because of the video I made raining against Parkland shooting that happened and then a bunch of wackos came out of the woodwork um, after I made a little short video about Trump bitching about Oprah. I mean, really, that's the video you attack. And then they just went on my other video, which was just a fucking drunk rambling vlog. Um, in retrospect, I should not have deleted those fucking comments. That was stupid on my part. If you haven't noticed by now, this is a bit of a rambling video because... My brain is all over the place right now, and I'm trying to get myself relaxed enough uh, to go to sleep, but ranting about Alex Jones um, is not one of the things I should be doing when trying to get myself mellowed out. I mean, just what kind of sick fuck do you gotta be to assert that a parent who's lost their six-year-old child is a actor? How much of a deluded fuck do you gotta be? I should have made this type of video back in 2012, but I guess at the time, I didn't really feel the need to make a video about it because I just thought, you know, people were fucking rational and intelligent and would accept facts and evidence as they were presented. Not be a bunch of deluded dumbasses who rely on Google, just Googling shit as a way to get reliable data. Newsflash. In order to do reliable, good research, you have to go to the libraries. You have to go to a library database. You have to go through peer-reviewed stuff. Peer-reviewed stuff is to weed out all the potential fake news bullshit. And in 2016 and 2017, that proved to be quite a challenge for the average internet user. It's a bit of a challenge for me as well, as I think I kind of fell for the Seth Rich uh, conspiracy theory back in 2017 a little bit. I didn't really report on it about this Alex Jones thing. I mean, what do you expect? This motherfucker sells, like, mmm, this, this caveman drink where I made. It's like, it's caveman milk. Like, what the fuck? You know, a, a good friend of mine on this site, I'm not going to say his name for because I don't want the trolls to go to his channel. Um, he does 
a bunch of, like, over-the-top, making fun of Alex Jones, and I warned him jokingly, and not jokingly, too much InfoWars will fuck with your mind. And it will. I could easily see someone watching a ton of Alex Jones's crap and then being brainwashed from watching it. Because some people are just fucking naive and stupid and desperate for something that fits their own worldview. That fits a certain narrative that they had in their head. That's why conspiracy theorists like him are able to have an audience. So it makes sense why someone this deluded and fucked up would go after people who lost their fucking children to a madman with an AR-15. Well, why haven't we seen any surveillance footage, some morons suggest. Maybe because they don't want assholes to imitate this shit. The Columbine Massacre, that footage is everywhere. You can watch the entire surveillance footage of Columbine. And you know what you get, unfortunately? You get wackos that want to imitate this sick shit. Or who are inspired by these fuckers. So, yeah, I can understand the police withholding this evidence. Unfortunately, while I'm all for transparency, I can kind of see the argument for keeping it a secret. I also saw a solid interview from David Pakman with Alex Jones' ex-wife, where she really, really revealed some shit about Alex Jones that was like, whoa, um, I should not be surprised by this, but what the actual fuck? I mean, Alex Jones was just a really, is a real toxic, sick son of a bitch. And then he tries to put on this fake performance like, uh, Trump is crappy all over us. Trump is bombing Syria. Uh. Oh, oh, you mean the fucker that said he was going to bomb the families of terrorists? The families, not the terrorists themselves, mind you. And that's if, and he didn't even lay the groundwork of whether or not they were an imminent threat to the American people. If they're an imminent threat, and we have enough substantial evidence to prove that they will attack us. If we don't act, I can kind of see a reason for it. But obviously, because Alex Jones is a fucking schmuck who fell for Trump's bullshit, he thought, oh, Trump is so anti-war. Yeah, yeah, meanwhile, me, a uh, college student, Darth Bryboy is going, I call bullshit, he's going to do something fucked up with Syria. And he has, twice. I do believe war with Syria is imminent. And I rallied against it then, and I rally against it now. But going back to the main topic. I'm glad the families of the Sandy Hook Massacre are suing Alex Jones. I hope InfoWars gets destroyed from this lawsuit, to be honest. And you know what? I would love for Alex Jones to try to unfuck himself from this situation. Like he's going to say, I'm being attacked. I'm being attacked. I'm being persecuted by the goddamn liberal elites. Oh, I'm going to put on a fucking lizard mask and shit. You schmuck. You should have seen this coming. You should. This would happen eventually to you. And you know what? It should have happened years ago. This shit should have happened back in 2013. Your ass should have been sued back then. You're lucky it took this long for them to get pissed off enough to say, You know what? You are harassing me. You are disgracing the death of my child. Fuck you. I'm going to sue your ass for everything you're fucking worth. I hope the victims' families destroy InfoWars. I want to see InfoWars sink from this shit and never recover. Because if you're going to pull this type of despicable shit, okay, you're going to be a conspiracy theorist. Fine. But if you're going to pull this shit and not expect any type of retaliation from the people you're accusing, you're a fucking fool. <sighs> this is Darth Bry Boy signing off. Um, I'll leave your hate comments down here, all you InfoWars Alex Jones assholes. And, uh, yeah. Live long and prosper and have a nice day.